very good morning students and welcome back today we are going to do a grammar lesson gender what is gender the division of noun into different classes that is masculine feminine neuter or common is called its gender children when we can categorize a given person, place, animal or thing as it is a masculine, feminine, neuter or common, it's called its gender. In English grammar, there are four types of gender. That is masculine gender, feminine gender, neuter gender and common gender. Let us study about all these four types of genders one by one. Masculine gender, a noun that is the name of male person or animal are called masculine gender. Male person children like brother, uncle, father, grandfather. All right. These are some male names. Male animals like tiger, lion, horse. These are the example of some male animals. All right. So it comes under masculine gender. Here are some examples like actor, brother, hero, prince, lion, king, tiger, etc. These all nouns here indicate a male gender. All right. So it is called a masculine gender. Feminine gender, a noun that is the name of a female person or animal are called feminine gender. Female person children, female names like sister, daughter, mother, grandmother. All right. These are the names which indicates a female person. Okay. Female animals like cow, mare, lioness, tigress. All right. These are the names which indicates some female animals. So, it is called feminine gender. Here are some examples like actress, sister, heroine, princess, lioness, queen, tigress, etc. Alright, these are some examples of feminine gender. Neuter gender, a noun that stands for the name of things without life or non-living things. We have many non-living things around us, children, like pen, copy, computer, table, chair, pencils, books. All right. So all these non-living things are categorized under neuter gender. Okay. Here are some examples I have taken, like book, chair, computer, pen, etc. Okay. Now, collective noun we have read in the noun chapter. Okay, the collective nouns like army, crowd, jury, all right, and many other collective nouns, it comes under neuter gender. Okay, and the name of some animals and creatures like cockroach, ant, snake, fish, sparrow, lizard, these are also categorized under neuter gender. Okay, common gender. A noun that may be used for male or female, all right, are called common gender. For example, children, like friend, whether it's a girl or a boy, we call it a friend. All right, so friend is a common gender used for a girl or a boy. Okay, parent, we use it for both father and mother. Okay, so parent is a common gender. Child, we use the word child for both girl as well as boy. So, child is a common gender. Doctor, whether it's a male or a female, we call them by a common name that is doctor. So, doctor is a common gender. Okay, teacher, whether it's a male teacher or a female teacher, we call them by a common name that is teacher. So, teacher is a common gender. All right. Now let us see some rules and ways of making feminine noun from the masculine noun. Rule 1. By adding E-double-S 
at the end of the masculine noun. It means for some masculine nouns, we can make the feminine noun just by adding e double s at the end of the masculine noun. Let us see some examples. Hunter, traitor, priest, murderer, host, count. When we add e double s at the end of these masculine nouns, it becomes huntress, traitoress, priestess, murderess, hostess, countess. And there are many more such examples. All right. Rule two, by dropping a vowel and adding e double s at the end of the masculine noun. So for some masculine nouns, we can make the feminine noun by dropping a vowel from the masculine noun and adding e double s at the end of that masculine noun. All right. Let us see some examples. Waiter becomes waitress in feminine. Here we have dropped the vowel e and added e double s at the end becomes waitress. Traitor becomes traitress. Here we have dropped the vowel o and added e double s becomes waitress. Hunter becomes hunteress. Here we have dropped the vowel e and added e double s at the end to make huntress. Prince becomes princess. Here you can say that we have dropped the vowel e from the end and added e double s at the end. Duke becomes duchess. This is an exceptional case. Here we have dropped the consonant k and, e, and the vowel e and added ch then e double s to make the feminine noun. So these are some examples and there are many more such examples. Rule number third, by using a different word. It means for some masculine nouns, their feminine noun is a completely different word. All right, let us see some example. Husband, it's feminine, is wife. Man, woman. Uncle, aunt. Son, daughter. Widower, widow. King, queen, and etc. Rule number four, by changing a word before or after a masculine noun. It means that for some masculine nouns, we can make the feminine noun just by changing some words before or after that masculine noun. Let us see some examples. Milkman, here feminine is milk maid. We change the word man into maid. Grandfather, grandmother. Father changed to mother. Landlord, landlady. Lord changed to lady. Washerman becomes washerwoman. Man changed to women. Son-in-law became daughter-in-law. Son changed to daughter. All right. So this is how we make the feminine of some masculine nouns. At number five, we have masculine and feminine nouns in birds and animals. Let us see some examples. Cock, hen, bull, cow, buck, doe, lion, lioness, fox, vixen, horse, mare, ram, eel etc. All right. So you better have to learn the masculine and feminine nouns in birds and animals. Okay, children. So that is it for today. I hope you liked the video and enjoyed learning about genders. So we will meet again in another video lecture with some new topic. Till then, thank you very much and God bless you all.